Okay, we're gonna show you how to quickly change out the abrasive in a wet blasting machine. Question comes up a lot, and so we're gonna show you a few simple quick steps on how to do this and how we do it here at our shop so that you could better do it yourself. Uh, there, you know, there are basically two ways. Um, the first way here that we're gonna be doing today and the second way using a hydrocyclone and uh, that's just a really expensive commercial way to do things works well don't get me wrong but uh, it's not really needed the majority of the time the first thing that I would recommend doing when uh, changing out the abrasive in one of these machines let me turn the water on is you're going to want to um, to rinse down the entire machine top to bottom with fresh water even the drip pan you can see there's some abrasive here you don't want to rinse that out make sure all of the abrasive is in the bottom of the hopper We don't want mixing of abrasives if we can help it. We want to make sure all the abrasive is gone, uh, even on the ceiling, on the light bar, on all of your components, your guns, your drip pan. Rinse all the abrasive off first. And then secondly, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna come down here, and what we do is we drain water with the second valve here. We drain it into a bin like this. You're going to see this bin here. Um, this holds about 12 to 15 gallons of water. A bucket works fine. Um, any type of bin that you can drain to, you can, you can run some hose to it like we've done here. Um, however, you can attach or drain to a bin such as this. This is our sedimentation bin. And I tell a lot of people about this. What we're doing here is number one, we're draining water off of the machine here. We're not pulling the abrasive out of the machine yet. This is right above the abrasive line. And so what we're doing is we drain water into this, this drainage bin here, the sedimentation bin, and we let it fill up like we're doing right now. And it's filling up the sedimentation bin. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna shut this guy off right here after this bin fills up. You can notice there's a few things going on here. Number one, we have some oil absorption cloth here. Um, this is going to absorb any oils or contaminants coming out of the machine. And that's a very important so that we're not polluting the environment. So keep this in your bin. It's going to absorb again any oils, greases that come out. And the second thing that we're doing here is we're letting this water sit. After we've drained it out of the machine hopper, it's into this bin now. We're letting this water settle out for a few minutes. The abrasive, as you can see, is still murky. It's still suspended in here. Um, so we're letting it settle to the bottom. Then we're going to drain the water off the top with this valve here. And you can drain that water you know, to your central draining system, um, to any outdoor drain or even outside. Depends on where you're at, what your location's like but we're letting this abrasive settle out again it's still murky we used a very fine abrasive in this machine at this time we're letting it settle then we're going to drain the water off the top keep doing this repeatedly until that hopper is empty it's really that simple drain it off with the the, the valve right above the big large vol valve um, this is the drain off valve that we use again it's not going to bring the abrasive out of the machine it's going to drain the water Drain the water into here, let it settle out. If you do have abrasives in here, it's gonna settle out. You can pull the water off the top. And then when you get towards the end, you can use the large valve on the bottom to finally flush out the remaining few inches of abrasive and a little bit of the water that you're gonna do. And you're gonna rinse everything into this bin. The whole point here is to do this in you know four or five different stages or steps. Fill this bin up with abrasive and water, let it settle out, drain it off, fill it up, let it settle out, drain it off. Just, just keep doing that and 
you'll be fine. That way you can capture all of the abrasive particles that, um, that come out of the machine and you can let them settle out from the water. You can dry them out and you can dispose of them properly. But again, the first step is rinse all the machine out, rinse the drip pan, come over to the side, start draining the water off the hopper with this valve. When you drain it into this bin, let it settle, let the abrasive settle. Then you can crack open this valve, which we're doing now. We're going to drain this water down. Once it's drained down, we can then open this valve up again and repeat these steps until we get this machine cleaned out. Uh, again, when we, get, when we get down to this point in the hopper with the water, we're going to start opening this valve and letting it drain into this bin here until we pull out the remaining abrasive and water that's in the machine. All we're doing is we're settling the particles from the water so that we can dispose of the particles later. I don't like recommending or I don't recommend flushing everything down or outside or down a drain um, because there's a lot of a lot of particles there and the water level is down. So we're going to shut this guy off. And again, I don't like draining all of the solid particles um, at once unless you're putting it into a large holding tank to settle it out there. I do not like draining it uh, into a central drain or system or even outside at that point. There's too many particles, solids, that could harm the environment. So always settle your abrasive from your water and then dispose of your abrasive second and use the oil absorption cloth that we have here. It's just a quick way to pull out the contaminants as well. But since our water is drained, we're going to open this valve again. And you can see that's just clear water. There's no abrasive coming out of that hopper at all. But you can see what it's doing. It's agitating the abrasive that's in this bin. So that's why we have to let this settle for a few minutes before we open this valve up. But again, we're just draining the water off until we get down to here in the hopper. And then we're going to open the main valve up and just repeat these steps. Should take you about 15 to 20 minutes to do this tops. Um, and that's how you, you clean out the machine. What you're going to want to do though, real quick, after you drain the entire machine out, is you're going to want to put, let's look at the front of the hopper, you're going to want to put a couple inches of water in here after everything's cleaned out and basically purge the system. Start the pump system up, um, clean any of the, remain, the remaining abrasive from the pumping, snell housing, or the lines. Um, that way you have a fresh machine to start with with no abrasive and then you can put fresh water back in the hopper and 20 pounds of fresh abrasive go back in on top here to uh, recharge your machine and you can begin working again.